Presenting information has never been easier. PowerPoint and Office 97 team up to provide the tools we need to present our ideas in person, at a trade show, and even on the internet. We've created a PowerPoint presentation to give when we meet with the Newport Days Planning Committee. We'll use the saved HTML wizard to convert it for use on the World Wide Web. This will allow people to both view and download our show from the internet. We'll start the wizard using the save as HTML command on the file menu. When we click on it, the wizard is started. This wizard lets us walk through the export process by using the next buttons, or we can jump around using the outline at the left. When we click on next, we're prompted to choose a layout. We don't have any defined yet, so we'll click on next again. We can choose whether to use standard web pages or browser frames. The default is standard, which is what we want. We click on next to advance to the next step. We can choose our graphic type in this step. We could export all of our graphics to GIF or JPEG formats, both of which are standard internet graphic formats. We'll use the PowerPoint animation player to show our presentation on the internet, complete with animations and transitions. We can also make the animation player available for download on our web page. If the viewer doesn't have the animation player installed on their system, they'll be prompted to download it free from Microsoft. When we click on Next, we're asked to choose the size of our slides on the web page. Half page would be easier to see. We click on the width of graphics list arrow and choose one half width of screen and click on Next. Our email address and web page are already entered here. If we wanted to, we could highlight this text and replace it. We'd like to let people viewing our website download this presentation to their own computer. We check that option. As we continue, we're offered an opportunity to specify special colors for our browser window. The ones shown look fine. We click on Next again. Hmm. I think I like the round buttons best. I'll check that and continue. Let's put the buttons below the slides and move to the next step. Mm, and we're done. The wizard tells us that it will create a folder inside the My Documents folder for our HTML files. By default, the wizard will create a folder with the same name as our presentation, Promo. All we have to do is click on Finish. We don't need to save our conversion settings, so we click on Don't Save, and PowerPoint goes to work exporting our show. Clip it lets us know when it's done. We click on OK. Now that the presentation has been converted, I can't wait to see how it looks in Internet Explorer. We'll display the web toolbar using its button. This button acts as a toggle switch, turning the web toolbar on and off. When we click on it, the toolbar displays. To open our file in Internet Explorer, we click on the Go button and select Open. The Open Internet Address dialog box prompts us to enter an address. Rather than type the file name, we'll browse our computer to find the file. We click on Browse and the new folder Promo is displayed. We double click on it and the folder tips open. Index sounds like a good place to start. We double click on the Index page to select it. Let's open this in a new Explorer window. We check that box and we're ready to go. When we click on the OK button, Internet Explorer is started and displays our introductory web page. We'll double click on the title bar to maximize the window. It shows an outline of our slides on the left. Each slide title is a hyperlink, allowing the viewer to jump to any of these slides with just a click. Our email and home page information is also shown here making it simple for people to contact us, and a link to download the PowerPoint animation player. When we click on the Click Here to Start hyperlink, our presentation starts to play.
Converting our presentation for use on the internet worked like a charm. Anyone viewing our website can watch our presentation in action. This is the end of this course in integrating Microsoft Office 97, and we hope you've enjoyed learning all of the many ways the Office 97 applications work to help you get organized and connected. And if you ever get to Newport, stop in and see us at the Ivy Lodge. Hey, you want to see that picture? Oh, yeah, yeah. You've got it done. <laughs>